I've wanted to learn juggling for a while now and I'm not really sure why because typically I'm not very good at stuff like that. My aim was to juggle three balls for 30 seconds. Let's see how long it takes me. This is what my juggling looked like at the start. And I bought these proper juggling balls to give myself the best chance of succeeding. And because I had little idea of what I was doing, I watched a video tutorial on how to juggle. Apparently, this wouldn't take me long to learn. The first part was getting the body position right. Feet shoulder width apart and elbows tucked in close to the body. And then starting by throwing one ball from one hand to the next. Once I could master throwing one ball 20 times without dropping it, I could introduce a second ball. Throwing with my right hand first, I worked up to doing that 10 times. And then I did the same with my left hand, throwing with my left hand first. I think something's just clicked, kind of. And after that, I alternated, starting with my right hand first, then my left. And once I could do that 20 times, it was time to use three balls. Why do I feel nervous? Right. Left, right, left, <laughs> right, left, right. <gasps> Something interesting happened while I was learning juggling and I'll tell you about that in a minute. That was 10! But first, it was while I was learning this new skill, I wondered to myself, why do I actually want to learn this? At first, I thought it was a cool party trick. I'd seen my friends do it and I thought, I really want to be able to do that. But the more I practiced, the more I realised this was more than just a cool party trick. I just want to carry on learning as I get older. The more I think about it, this is good for hand-eye coordination and actually it might help with another skill in the future. It's just something fun as well, just helping me switch off from the things that I think about every day. And then, here's the interesting things that happened. At the start, I realised my motivation was high to learn something new. It was exciting and the progress was fast, going from one ball to three balls. I felt optimistic. Surely I'd have this down in just a few hours. But then as the progress plateaued, my motivation started to decrease. And this new skill, this learning process, it wasn't as exciting anymore. And I think this is going to be useful for me to reflect back on when I'm learning some new stuff in the future. What was that? That was 14 seconds. It felt way longer than 14 seconds. 30 seconds is a long time. I'm wishing that I'd set my target at 20. I'd convinced myself that getting to my goal would take about one to five hours and I'd come to this conclusion because I'd seen people like Mike Boyd, Mike Shake and The Unlazy Way learn it that fast. When I didn't learn it in that time, I felt so frustrated. As soon as I think I've got it, I lose it. It's really easy to be getting frustrated because I'm not making very much progress. But what I need to remember is that an hour of practice ago, I couldn't even do this. Yet, if I hadn't watched those videos, I never would have known how long it takes to learn to juggle. And there was a lesson right there, a lesson much bigger than juggling. Not comparing myself to others and continuing to practice whilst being patient something that I'm not very good at. And at this stage, it was taking me so long to get to my goal of 30 seconds that if it hadn't have been for this video, quite honestly, I would have chucked those stupid juggling balls over the garden fence and given up. Sake, sake. <sighs> Coming into week two of practice, I put on my motivational circus trousers for four days straight because I was absolutely convinced each day that I would get my goal. I've got a feeling that today is the day. Today is the day. I think today is the day that I'm going to achieve my goal. But oh, how I was wrong. And it was driving me crazy. So this is about day nine that I'm practicing juggling. And please let me get it. And I took my juggling balls everywhere and practiced in lots of places like my friends' houses, <laughs> went on walks, and I even took them to the supermarket. Goal! Are you tempted to learn juggling? 
If you do it, let me know how long it takes you to learn. And then after 15 hours of practice over three weeks, five memory cards and over 251 gigabytes of footage later, I look forward to learning some more new stuff. See you in the next video.